Hey everyone, welcome to my channel 3 Dias. In today's video, I'm just going to explain you how we can make a simple 3D model in Autodesk Fusion 360. So here you can see this is the 3D model, and here it's here you can see the orthogonal views of that this 3D model. So by referring these uh, these views and dimension and measurements, we are going to make this 3D model inside Fusion 360. So I'm just going to explain you the right process and approach so we can do it faster. So let's get started. So the first thing I will do, I will just click on here to create new design or I will click on here to create my new design. So here you can see my new design has been activated. So the first thing I will save this drawing with the drawing name. So I will just give it a some drawing name. Let's write it drawing 004, right? And I will click on save here to save it into my project folder. So here you can see the mo moment I click save, the, it has been renamed here. So the next thing I have to make sure that my system of dimension is correct. So I will system of units is correct. Correct. Sorry. So I will just click uh, check here since it's millimeter right now. So I will just check my drawings. Yes, they are also in millimeter. So it, it is fine. And the third thing I have to make sure that my design history is turned on. So hey, this uh, these things here it shows that my design history is turned on. So we are now completely ready to start our uh, thread modeling. So I will just click on to create a sketch here and I will select this top plane as my sketch plane. So I will click on that top plane. So here you can see the plane has been active for create a sketch. So here you can see the sketch tools are active here now. So first I will go to normal to that plane. So I will click on here to go to normal to that plane. Before that I will turn on the origin. I will select the plane and I will click on to go to normal to that plane. Here you can see like this. Just click on here then select the plane. So we are normal to that plane in which we are creating a sketch. So we'll turn off the origin again. So here we are. Now we'll check our drawings that what are the dimensions we had. So here you can see it is uh, it, it is having a base of 40 by 70 first. So I will just create a simple base first by 40 by 70 using the center rectangle. So I will just go over here on the create panel. I will select go to rectangle. Then I will create my center rectangle tool from here. And I will specify the center of this rectangle and I will drag outside and I will leave it like this. Now I will dimension this rectangle. So in the sketch itself, you can see that the dimension is 40 by 70. So I will specify that, that dimension using this sketch dimension tool. So I will activate this tool. I will select the object that I want to dimension. I will drag outside. I will write 40, this one. Then again, I will select the object. I will drag outside, write 70 here. So here you can see I had uh, uh, defined both the sides of this uh, rectangle and if I expand my sketch folder from here you can see the lock icon it shows my sketch is constraint so if you're not uh, aware about these things that what is the sketch constraint and all these things you can go and check out my other videos on my channel uh, where I did a five day workshop and I had explained everything about this uh, sketching tool so here you can see right now we had created the sketch so we now we are done with the sketching we'll click on this finish the sketch here and we'll click on home here to go to the 3d view We'll zoom out a little bit and we'll activate this extrude tool to give it a 3D height. So I will activate the tool. We'll, we'll select, uh, by default, the profile is selected. So no problem. We'll just drag it towards the top so, and we'll check our drawing also. So it says that the height of this portion is 10 millimeter, right? The base height is 10 millimeter. So I will just give it a height of 10 millimeter. So here you can see it's already 10 millimeter. So I will press OK. So here you can see we had created a base of 10 millimeter so the next thing we have to create is if i go to our drawings here you can see uh, the shape like this right so before uh, before creating a shape at an angle like this first we'll create a wall a two side wall with a base right so we'll do that uh, we'll come back to our fusion 360 model design file and we'll start creating sketch on this face so for that i will activate my sketch tool we'll select that face create a sketch on that face so I had selected that face and you can see the this face is active for sketching so I will go to normal to that face so I will activate this tool I will select that face here we are now we'll create a sketch uh, if 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 we seeing from the front view here you can see this is the sketch so we are going to create where the height is 20 and then the width of this these things are 10 and uh, difference between the walls are 20 again so we are going to create this kind of shape also from the bottom it is 40 millimeter to the top so we'll follow that dimension we'll just create a shape like this as per our dimensions 
not like that if you are doing anything wrong just press ctrl z to come back again activate the line tool and keep drawing your things like this here you can see now the thing is uh, this 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 one and this one are equal so we will select both the things and apply the equal constraint from here so both became equal same manner this and this are equal so we will select both the things and we will apply the equal constraint so both became equal the next thing is we will uh, dimension it from the bottom to the top we, we got this 40 so we will write 40 here and this one is 10 so we will just write 10 here since we had created this one 10 so uh, and the constraint equal constraint is already applied so this will automatically become 10 so no, no need to specify here now this one is 20 here it is and also this one is also 20 so we will write it like that so here you can see the moment I had uh, provided all the measurements uh, it shows that the, this sketch is also constrained so we are done for now so we will click on finish the sketch from here and we will go to the 3d view here you can see now we have to extrude this sketch up to the this end so I will just activate my extrude tool I will select the profile and I will select the end up to which I want to extend I want to extrude so I will just select this face and here you can see it is automatically extending up to that face extruding up to that face like this I, here I will keep operation as a join and will press ok so here you can see this shape we had created now we have to create some sketch now we have to create a sketch on this face so we'll go over here this face we have to make a circular cut here and then this portion here so if we seeing from the top it is something like 10 millimeter uh, thick wall and then a circle of 10 millimeter dia with 15 millimeter distant from both the edges so we'll follow these dimensions We'll go to our uh, Fusion 360 again, 3D model, and we'll select that face. We'll click on the create sketch from here. We'll go normal to that face. Here we are. We'll rotate it a little bit to bring it in the correct uh, orientation. Now we'll create a wall from here to here, like this, and we'll create a circle over here, like this. Now we have to dimension this uh, wall from this point to this point. It is 10. So I will just dimension it 10. And now I will dimension this circle as. 10 millimeter of diameter I will recheck it again it's 10 or not yeah it is 10 correct and now I will uh, specify its location from both the edges like 10 not 10 15 I believe 15 from this end and also 15 from this end so the moment I I, I had specified all the measurements here you can see it again says the sketch is constrained right so we are done so we can now click on finish sketch here and we'll go to home to see the 3d view and now we have to extrude this wall towards the top we'll check how much we have to extrude so from here you can see that we have to extrude it by 20 millimeter so we'll go over here we'll activate the extrude tool and we'll extrude this by 20 millimeters like this here you can see and the moment i had extruded the sketch became automatically turned off so we'll turn on turn on it again because al we also have to use this circle to make it cut so again we'll activate my extrude tool and select the profile and this time instead of going towards upward we'll drag it towards the downward like this to make a cut so we have to make a cut up to this face so we'll just drag like this so uh, we will just verify that it's a through cut and we'll press ok here you can see the cut had, has been made if I turn off my sketch from here here you can see now we have to fillet this corner here you can see as per uh, our model it must be filleted by 20 millimeter also uh, we have to chamfer this corner also so we'll do that we'll come back to our drawing we'll activate the fillet tool we'll select the corner we'll specify the fillet radius of 20 millimeter and we'll press ok here you can see now we have to uh, put chamfer on these two corners so we'll go to modify activate my chamfer tool and we'll select the edges so here uh, there is a trick that uh, it's not equal chamfer it's a two distant chamfer so we'll uh, make sure that we are selecting two distance type uh, chamfer type here and in this direction we just want it to make 20 so we'll make 20 and in the bottom direction we want to make we want to make uh, 30 so we'll write 30 like this so here you can see so we can just click on here and we'll put the dimensions so we click on here we'll put the dimensions so we have provided two different dimensions that's why we had selected a uh, chamfer type of two distances and we'll press ok here you can see we had finished our 3d model if we compare it with our sketch here you can see we are done so this is how you can create this simple 3d model uh, so much quickly inside fusion 360 and we are done just we had used three sketches and it's all done
So if you just want to practice, just go ahead and practice itself. Practice yourself and make sure that uh, you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss uh, videos like this. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you.